Hey everyone, this is Mike at Sweet Bright Farm, and today we are making apple cider. Nice. Put this in, and it catches all of the, Picks. like the peels and the skins. And the Finn's gonna show us how it's done. You gotta line it around the rim, so that it's in the middle. Catch all of the stuff in there. So we have about seven or eight bushels, and I've got this new apple press that we bought from happyvalleyranch.com. What we're going to do is have the kids feed the apples into the grinder to pulp the apples. Then some of the juice will start flowing underneath the uh, netting there. And then we can shift over the pulp once the bag's full and start pressing that down. We should have lots of apple cider here by the time we're done. We need the uh, pressing plate in the house. Oh. Okay. Beat them fast. So this isn't actually grinding the apples, it's just kind of pulping them. Now we are pressing to get the cider out of the pulp in the bag. So we'll put the pressing plate on here. And it should All right, the apple cider should start flowing even more than it is right now. So you turn this right here. Actually, yeah, take that pot inside. Switch it. Go. Okay. Don't open up the door. So cider making today, it looks like we made, these are all half gallon jugs and of course they're not full all the way because they're going to go in the freezer and we need to leave room for expansion. But I've got four deep times seven is 28 
29, 30, 31 half gallon jugs of apple cider from our trees. We don't have a ton of trees. I think we picked from five or six trees today. And there's still a lot more apples out there. So I think it was fun. Everybody loves applesauce or apple cider and applesauce. And so I think this is something we'll look forward to doing together every fall. Thanks for watching, guys. So you can see it expands quite a bit. They could have filled the bottles a little bit more, but after it's frozen, then you cap it. And when we're ready, we can thaw it and drink it. Super tasty.